have to get up and act out the term that I said or that I stated. Strategy three, movement. Well, we've talked a lot about movement. We've talked a lot about role play. Let's go back to Lynn Fink's classroom one more time where she is actually teaching a math lesson as well. But she is using a relay, the use of movement. And we're going to call this Math Facts Relay. All right, guys, we know one way to help us learn things a lot better is to use movement. It gets the serotonin and the endorphins going in our brain, and it makes our brains work better so that those dendrites are firing off that information that we need. So today we're going to do our multiplication relay. What will happen is Maharet and I will be down here. When you come to us, we give you the ball, you toss it up, but today it's a little bit windy, so don't toss it up too high or you're going to be chasing the ball. Toss it up, and with your right index finger, wherever it lands, you turn to either myself or Maharet and say, nine times zero, zero. Now, if you miss it, we got to keep you till you get it right, okay? But we know you know your facts, and we want to reinforce that. On your mark, get set, go. Really loud. In this movement-based activity, the students are formed into teams. Each team member takes a turn running to get the math facts ball, tossing it to select a single math fact, which he or she must answer before running back to tag another team member.